Hey guys, here's the anodizing video I've been promising you. What we're going to anodize today are some uh, shock extenders, um, commonly used for Honda mini bikes, um, other mini bikes, whatever else will fit these. Um, they're anodized blue from the factory, and they look great and all, but we're going to change them to red. Uh, first step is to uh, etch them, strip them, uh, then uh, I'm going to polish them, and then uh, degrease them, desmut them, anodize them, dye them, then seal them. A lot of steps. Let's get started. Now that they're stripped and polished, now I gotta degrease them, get rid of all that uh all that polishing compound that was on them. Now here's the pieces in the desmut tank. All this really does is just uh, strips away any sort of surface impurities. So we're dealing with pure aluminum uh, on the surface when we go into the anodizing tank. So here's a shot of the uh, the actual anodizing tank. It's, you know, nothing too, too complicated, just, just a Rubbermaid tub um, and some PVC piping used to, for air agitation. You just turn the valve on and it creates bubbles. Bubbles and uh, agitation to keep bubbles from forming on the anodized part. Um, a sheet of aluminum running to the negative of the power supply and this bar here that runs to the positive and then your parts are suspended in the uh, acid and water solution. Okay, now I've already measured that each piece is 7.6 square inches. Uh, I wasn't going to show that part because, you know, nobody wants to see some dude doing math. So according to that, I have to set my current uh, at 1.3 uh, amps, and we're going to run that for two hours. There you have it guys, that's anodizing. Uh, these pieces came out great. I really like the polished look I gave to it before, uh, before sending it through the anodizing uh, process. If this uh, looks like something you might want to try at home or in your shop, um, do your research online, read about it. I didn't cover all the steps. Uh, it's a lot more involved than you think. It's, you, know, you don't just plunk it in the acid and give her. Um, there's a lot more to it. These chemicals can be very dangerous, so you've got to be careful. Um, thanks for watching.